Hi, Jason at Golf Principles here. Now I'm going to do one of my pet hate and pet topic subjects, driver lengths. I'm going to use the 430 tailor made head, the new one, smaller, more compact. The new weights on the drivers like the Big Bertha Alpha, the Yonix XP and the tailor made are all a little bit heavier, more smash factor, but more weight. Which is handy because if you go slightly shorter, especially if you've got the weight adjustability like on the Alpha, you can change the toe weight and the heel weight to get their weight up. You can go shorter and keep a swing weight that's kind of normal, D2, D3, in that area. The longer the shaft, as you know, potentially the more distance you get, but you've got to centre the hit. So work around the fact that if you can't centre it, don't use it. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a test on you. This is actually a 43 and 3 quarters, just under 44 shaft, on a VTS Tour Spec 6 stiff. And we use the same shaft at 45. And we'll look at the numbers and we'll talk you through the differences. But please, this is something for guys that struggle with drivers that can't centre the hit. If you can use a long driver and you can maximise distance, that's great. But control is king and hitting out in the middle is the king of kings. So don't mess around. Don't walk with a 46 inch driver shaft. Good luck on that one. You'll miss every fairway. Well, most fairways. But anyway, have a look at this and we'll show you what we mean. Right, this is the results of the short shaft on the 44 white and the yellow one's 45. You can see a dispersion on the 44 is much tighter. This is basically 10.5, same shaft, short and long, no trick shots, 60 odd gram shaft, are pretty close to my driver weight. And you can see the carry obviously is a little bit further with the longer shaft, but dispersionally I'm much more in the fairway, so sort of side to side, it's, it's a fairway finder. So if you struggle to find fairways, shortening the shaft up but still keeping the head weight up is a really good idea. So if you look at the numbers on the analyse screen, you can see my clubhead speed is a little bit quicker with the longer shaft. The attack angle is pretty similar, the path is the same, the face angle is the same. Okay, got a little bit more smash out of the longer one. Launch and spin, pretty equate. So I'm only seven yards in the air longer with a longer shaft, but actually from the dispersional front, I'm a lot worse off. So you can see there's a classic example where you say to somebody, look, maybe 44 and a half is your optimum length. For those of you out there who don't know me, my driver length is 44.75. So you can see where this is going. So it's really important that you look at length of shaft, how's it performing, am I in the fairway, am I out of the fairway, and that extra 5 or 10 yards, is it really worth it with a longer shaft? Just a food for thought, Luke Donald's driver's 43 and a half, so, and Sergio's are short as well. So you can see how this is going to work for potentially the high speed, high hits, although as you know, you can see from my club head speed, it's not that quick, but it relates to everybody. So anyway, food for thought, enjoy the golf over the weekend, and we'll speak to you soon.